High Desert State Prison, B Yard, and this is my war dog. So we get word that one of the homies needs to get whacked. So what happened was, is that one of the OG Filipino homies, he wasn't really much of a gangster or nothing. He was on the other yard and he was celled up with one of my Usos over there. And the Filipino homie, he was in the cell with him and you know, he had saw that the homie had some knives in the cell. Dude didn't, you know, dude wasn't no gangster like I said. So he got scared and he went to the police and he told on that Uso and said that he had knives in the cell. So that Uso ends up going to the back and he's facing charges. He's back there in the hole now and it's all bad. So, you know, when shit like that happens, it hurts us because, you know, we're a small group and he's one of the soldiers that, you know, we want to keep on the yard. And so what this dude did, he really hurt the car. So a lot of the homies was pissed and they wanted, you know, they wanted to make sure that justice was served to this dude. And so we're all standing around, we're talking about it. And, you know, of course, a lot of the Usos wanted to be the ones to give it to him, right? But there was a little Filipino cat that was there in this meeting and he was a good homie of mine. And he was a youngster. He had made his way up to a level four from a level one. This dude has been riding his whole fucking time. So he's standing there. He's listening to what's going on. He gets to see the paperwork. You know, he knows what's happening. And he, he speaks up and he says, hey, I don't want nobody else touching my people. Let me do it. You know, that's my people's. I want to handle this. I don't want nobody else doing it. So, you know, we all decided that out of respect, we won't allow him to do it, even though the homies on the other yard, they really wanted it to be a oos to handle it because they wanted it done a certain way. You know what I mean? They wanted this dude to be an example. So the little body, the little body homie, the little body homie, he was just like, nah, man, I'm going to take care of it. You know what I'm saying? So just set it up. So it went down, we were walking to chow. It was like breakfast time, you know, you gotta be on your game at all times, man. You can't be coming out walking tired and shit like that. So, but it was breakfast time. So we head into the chow hall and the little homie makes his move, you know, right there on the way to the chow hall. And uh, he gets the OG pretty good. And, and, you know, he keeps giving them the business, even though the yard goes down. So the gunner has to, you know, shoot off the block gun to stop it. You know, the gunner had to shoot off the block gun to stop the whole thing. And um, as we're laying there and we're all prone out, uh, the OG Filipino homie, you know, he's leaking all over. And he's like, you know, hey, buddy, who who did this to me? What happened? You know, and... Uh, And the little Filipino homie was like, I did, you know, because you told. And uh, so, you know, that's how that shit goes. OG dude wasn't really a gangster. A little youngster. Came from a level one. I'm sorry, y'all, man. It fucks me up because, fuck. <sighs> this story fucks me up because you see what prison does to people. This little youngster didn't have much time. He done came from a level one and now all the way up to a level four and now he fighting the case. You know what I'm saying? And and now he caught a case. Um, not only that, the OG homie, you know what I'm saying? Older cat. He ain't no real gangster or nothing, you know what I mean? So I know personally, you know what I'm saying? I feel personally that he just didn't know what the fuck he was doing. He was scared. So when he went and told the police on the homie. So it is what it is, but 
this is the type of life you gotta live when you're in these type of yards. So ain't no time for feelings. Ain't no time for bullshit. You know, the rules are rules. You don't go by them. You gonna get handled. And with that, y'all know what time it is. Stay the fuck out of trouble.